Hello and welcome back. In this video, I am going to discuss about the cost center creation in SAP MM. We need cost center for P2P or procuring the indirect material, for example, consumables, etc. So during that, we need to enter the cost center. So, first we need to create the cost center. Then this cost center can be used in the purchase order. So, there are some T codes we need to follow. KS01 for creating the cost center. K01 is to create the cost element and OKB9 for the assigning the cost centers to the GL accounts. So let us start creating the cost center first. So as usual you have to start the SAP GUI and enter the first T code called create cost center. The controlling area is where we have already created and you can visit the video for the controlling area how to create the controlling area. So for the company code it is VVCS and now let us give a name to the cost center you can give alphanumeric or you can give numbers so I'm going to give ADM 100 and it is valid from today okay press enter so let me give the name as admin and these are optional, user responsible. This is mandatory. Then call center category. So which type of call center? So administration. Hierarchy will take automatically if you click here box. Business area, let us select some business area that is say it these are some customized business area. So you can choose some business area say let us choose the business areas Pune then currency Raina hit enter once again you hit enter there is no, if you want to you can create the profit center and if you want to see other tabs you can just go through the other tabs for a reference just save this now this cost center has been created like this you can create multiple cost centers and you can use this when we are doing the P2P. Now, the next one is KA01. Okay, slash M KA01. Now you can see create the cost limit. So, if you want to create the cost limits, for example, you can see these are the there are many cost limits. So, 40 uh, you can see this number four zero 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 five zeros are there consumption so let us use this enter now you can see this cost element consumption name is consumption and then basic data this is mandatory so we have to enter primary cost cost reducing revenues indicators no need to enter default no need to enter this is fine just save so cost element is also created next is ok b9 default account assign so we have to search for the company code a b c s so we search whether this company code is there if it is not there we have to create so let us create new entry company code is which we have created for our organization that is APCS and cost element just now which we have created is this entry so if you want to enter the cost center 
specific cost center you can enter and if you just press enter you can see recently we created this otherwise you can leave it default okay default means when we are creating the PO you can choose the cost center similarly you can choose profit center etc so after this you just save this save and close so this is how we can actually create the cost center cost element and we can assign this and this will be very helpful when we are actually creating the p2p for indirect material procurement so if you see this purchase order for example i'm just showing you a demo where this is going to be used ABPO. ABP. 